What's up, WWE Champions Universe? This is Lee from Champions Chat, and it's time to feel the power of Fatu of the Head Shrinkers. Okay, here's what I gotta start by admitting. I was wrong. If you saw it, I just released a three-minute moveset for Fatu running triple red. And while that is good, and I got caught up on it because I have the tricks like Streaker Goldberg and a 200% uh, move damage medal, I, I got caught up on it today. I was wrong. Because as these new tours were out, you got to see Fatu running triple green. And it made me think, wait a second, why didn't I seriously look at triple green? Because on the bottom, we have a bear hug submission that puts 42 random submission gems, which means he will never have the entire board broken unless you've got that specific plate that we refer to in a slang way with a vulgar term that allows you to get out of submission moves. But even then, there's so many on the board and they all turn to botch. And then, and then, your middle move, your diving leg drop, turns 35 botch gems into green, which means no matter what, this is a flawless recycle. And on top, the head butt, which deals damage. And we don't really care about the fact that it turns yellow gems into, or makes uh, yellow gems. That doesn't actually matter. And here's why this is so amazing, <laughs> because with this entourage right here, or some variation of it, we've got William Regal. I just got him, by the way. So, yes, this is a premium build, but it's okay. Uh, green moves start with two more MP, plus green subs at the level I have him at do 65%. Note that goes up to 100% when I get Regal to six star. And then you've got your Chase Bailey, Showboat Bailey. Green moves deal 100% more damage and start with two more MP. Then you've got the original legend right there. Mr. Bruno Sammartino, green submission moves do 50% more. Last one more turn. Uh, I don't really care so much about that. Uh, although, watch when you see the damage. And then Santa Hogan. I have him at 17K, so he provides one more MP, which means in tours, he should launch loaded. You might have to worry about feud and having some uh, green match and, you know, etc. Uh, so if so, then just swap out Mr. Willie Regal right here for your green MP trainer, George the Animal Steel, and you will start turn one. But look at this. The bear hug submission does <laughs> 1.8 million damage for four turns. That's a lot. And then the diving leg drops does 2.9 million damage and refills all your moves. But wait, there's more because the headbutt now does 4.2 million damage. And there's more because, oh yes, remember this thing. Remember how straps and metals and plates changed the game so that the game cannot be played the same way again. We got takedown two. And in that takedown two, while on the red move set I had a 200% medal, I just don't have this one quite there yet. And that's okay, right? That's, that's okay. Uh, green move damage does 169% more damage on its way to 200%. And right here, we have the Sheik Plate. Scimitars of the Sheik. Whenever you activate a green move, increase your green move damage by 100%. Family, I was wrong. Triple Red is dead. Long hail the Triple Green. And let's see him on the road against his tag team partner. All right, we are out on the road against Samu special tour today, and he is running triple red. The next node is where I found, uh, well, I'll call the Rikishi, Fatu running uh, triple green that made me go, why? 
Why did I miss this? Because, because look at this. Um, right here, we have 1.8 million sub. Loaded turn one as I have it. Again, if you don't have Regal, George the Animal Steel, he'll be loaded turn one most modes. Then this right here is, with the buffs, doing 6.6 .6 million damage. And this one is doing 9.6 million damage damage. You are subbing them nearly to death every time. You hit them for 6 million, and if that doesn't work, you hit them for 9.6 million. But wait! Every time you use a green move, the scimitar plate goes off. So I will not even be able to show you his finishing move damage. Because this right here is going to wipe him out pretty good. I mean, I would be surprised if he survives my second move, period. Now note, for those who are saying, well, this isn't turn one. Yeah, that's that's true. Look, I just took half his health. He has no moves, and the board is full of botch. I'm going to turn him green, but that would be 8.1 million. That's going to wipe him out. I want to hit this finisher right here, because that's 11 million. But if somehow he could survive this, that would prop this one, your headbutt, 100% more base damage, which means your 11 million is going closer to 15 or 16 million. So, he's not going to survive. No one in this current meta is going to survive this. And by the way, if you're watching this day of release, there is a boss battle where green moves and green subs are buffed. If you haven't caught this yet, this is your boss destroyer. Plus, he's focus type. So, you can also then go ahead and put in the wonderful, wonderful Hell Freezes Over move. And he is going to smack this boss. Do you see this? 1200% percent more subs on a four million or two million sub right there so 15 times that and then 1200 percent more move damage on a 11 million powered <laughs> sub so hundreds of millions and because bosses nerf subs in, in the sense that, um, you know, they, they don't take sub moves. It just immediately uh, drains all your turns on the sub and just does the effect. It's not going to take a super long time. He's flawlessly going to recycle. He is going to destroy Santa Hogan. So I hope you feel the power of Fatu the Head Shrinker. Because I got it wrong. Triple green. And he is an absolute monster. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and subscribe to the Champions Chat channel. Share this with your faction quickly for anybody who has Fatu for the boss that's happening today. And if you're watching this in the future and got him and you're like, wow, how do I run this guy? Now you know. Now you go. All right. I'll see you later. Bye.